Ahora sí, tell me un poquito más. Hola, I'm Kim. And I'm Cindy Gaxiola. And this is our podcast, Tell Me Un Poquito Más. What season, Cindy? Cuatro. <laughs> well, four. Four. One hand. <laughs> uh, and today's topic is juicy. You guys asked, so why don't we not talk about it? <laughs> it's about how do I know if I'm over my ex? Am I really over my ex? Or the person that I'm dating. That I was dating. Oh, that I was dating. Oh my ya lo superé God. a mi ex y a la persona con la que estaba saliendo. Ya, yeah, Cindy, ¿lo superé o no? Esa sí es una conversación. This is definitely a conversation because I don't think there's like a questionnaire. It's not so... <laughs> it's not so black or white. <laughs> no, but really, like... We, it's going to get juicy. We're going to get into a lot of details. But before, as you guys know, Kim has... The next 10 seasons of fun <laughs> facts. So what's this today's? This one is fire, yo. It's from, according to U.S. Census, this was found a little years back, but I still thought it was pretty interesting. Maybe like two years back. Drop it, Kim. Drop, Drop it. it, baby. Okay. There are 95.9 million people unmarried in the U.S., in which 47% are men and 53% are women. Este, un estudio de U.S. Census que hay 95.9 millones de personas que aún no están casadas, donde 47% son hombres y el 53% son mujeres. Unmarried. Hmm. Interesting, huh? Y que tú sigas llorando por el mismo. <risa> habiendo cuántos millones de personas solteras. Que aún no están casadas, chale, Cindy. Es que pues apenas leí este fun fact. <risa> I barely found this fun fact. And so. you're still here crying for the same person <gasps> when there's how many single people in this world. <gasps> yeah, it's because I hadn't read this yet. But now I'm... I mean, I'm not attacking you, but it sounds like the shoe fit. <laughs> Kim. Why me? I was just saying it to the people. Oh, oh y tú llorando. Lo me estás diciendo te a auto. mí. <laughs> well, eso va al tema de hoy. <laughs> that leads to our topic for today. Am I over my ex or the person that I was dating? Eh, ¿Ya superé a mi ex o con la persona con la cual estaba saliendo? Como les dije, yo siento que ese sí es una conversación porque no hay como un cuestionario. Haz esto y el otro para que sepas si ya lo superaste. I really feel like there's a conversation um, through experience, through our life, through just conversations um, with our friends. It's not like a questionnaire you do. Okay, yes, do this and you'll know if you're over it. I think, yeah, we're just going to conversate. I don't know, Cindy, what do you think? I really think you reach a moment, like one, I promise you one day, When you've done the work, when you've done the healing, you just wake up and you realize you are really over that person. It, from one day to the other? Yes, but what I mean is like you, there's no secret formula to knowing just one day. Like it's hap it, it happened to me, right? Like you break up with someone and or you stop dating them. And yeah, I mean, it hurts. <sighs> We've talked about this. I think once, as soon as you break up, you're like not over it. You want to know everything. I mean, sometimes you're still doing the stalking, right? I do it. Do stalking? Porque siempre hablas de stalking. Well, well, I think yeah. I mean, in, right away. I mean, I think it's I think it's impossible to yeah, be over like, someone okay, like over the it. next day. Um, but I do think if you do the work, if you take the time to heal and grow, yo, that you. I don't know how like it the amount of time it takes varies mm -hmm. for different people but when you're in the process you kind of i remember being there and i'm like i think i'm over them i think i'm over them but i was still doing things like yeah you still you do you stalk them on social media you still sometimes you still hold on to people around them like mm. sometimes it could be family members and Granted, those people could become like lifelong people that you keep in touch with, but there needs to be boundaries, right? Yeah. Um, but you do the, you kind of do it for a different purpose, if that makes sense. Um, you, what did I say? Stalk them. You still talk to people around them. You still question, like you still wonder, you still wish, you still think about them. And I promise you one day it could be, Five months later, it could be eight months later, it could be a year later, 
you will just wake up and you're going to realize you're like, oh, do you think it takes meeting someone else? No, absolutely not. No? No, it takes doing the work. Doing the work. It takes healing. Absolutely. But could it? Could someone else help you? No, that's a Band-Aid. Well, Caso you cerrado. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know. I don't, I think sometimes, okay, I think sometimes it could take someone else for you. I don't know. I think maybe it doesn't take someone else for you. That's so dangerous. I don't want to talk about that. Take someone else. The rebound. <laughs> <laughs> no, but there have been scenarios where you could be kind of trying to s- stuck to someone and someone better comes in the picture and you realize like, oh, wait. That's not what I want. I was devastated. But there for does him. have to be work that you need to do. And I just hope that we make that that we do that work so that when that person comes, we're ready for them. Ugh. And it's hard. It's really hard. Cause I don't know. So that how you know that you're over them is because just from one to another, you're not gonna think about them. I just think it varies for different people and it depends on the level of relationship that you had. I think sometimes there, because uh, there's, because you could lie to yourself. I'm over him. He lost me. We're done. But uh, I don't care anymore. I am going out with my friends. I am doing this. I am living my my best life. Oh my gosh. Living my best life. I've done that, guys. If you've done that, it's like, I'm not going to say it's good, but don't feel like we, I feel like almost a lot of people do that. It's like, it's the easy thing to do. I mean, of course it feels good. It feeds your like, look at what you lost. I would say, look at your loss. Oh my gosh! Okay. I think also you you do things thinking about that person. Like mm, I'm gonna get better to show him what he lost. Mm, I'm posting this so that he sees it. Mm. Oh, I'm you like you still think about them. Like I know that I reached a point where I was like I genuinely don't care anymore. It took me probably eight months. Yeah, it took me about eight months. Eight months. Of a lot of healing. Okay, like, well, okay, okay, hold up. What did you do in those eight months? Oh, my gosh. Because eight months, that's like almost a freaking year. I've never done that. I <laughs> don't. Like, I don't. I'm more of like that. And it's not good. I'm not proud to say that. But I'm more like, look at. Oh, no. I was very intentional. Like, I, I was, my healing was like in the beginning. I didn't really understand it. Like, I was like, oh, okay, this is over. It hurt. But I was like, I didn't really understand what it meant. And then I I started going to a therapist because I realized I'm like, I don't think I'm processing this correctly. Like, I I felt kind of lost in the situation. And then um, I I remember like a month later or two, I don't remember, I hit a point where yeah, like in the time I was posting, but just like my life, it wasn't like, oh, so he so could he see. Could see. Uh-huh. Sometimes you post so that you could get, I don't know, little hearts, emojis that feel nice. <laughs> oh, from other people. From other people. Okay. Yeah. Um, but then, yeah, I remember I hit a point where I, uh, and I, and I, of course, like I rely on God. I, I feel like God spoke to me for real. Like I needed to enter a deep season of healing and I had to step away from so many things. I was fasting. I remember at the time I was fasting, like I was doing the Daniel fast uh, just because I wanted God to kind of, I wanted to surrender that season to God, but I was fasting. I fasted uh, through my fasting. I got, I feel like I needed to fast social media. I needed to let go of social media for a bit. I also stopped going out like with friends like I didn't isolate myself like I always kept like my close friends right. around I communicated with them, my family but I didn't like oh let's go out for drinks oh let's go out for this I felt very like I needed to be very intentional not for long I think it was right. like a like a couple weeks where I just needed to really sit with myself journal let emotionally like cry it out like really do that and yeah it was kind of and you also weren't like dating other guys oh no i wasn't going out at all like if a guy wrote to me (laughs) like even a guy friend like that i never even thought about dating like i just i wasn't i was not i was really making sure i wasn't doing anything that entertained (sighs) the idea of not facing what i had to face and 
and really healing, like nothing. Um, and of course, like I was doing this with a therapist. It's not like I just isolated myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was talking to a therapist. Yeah. I let them know everything. Um, and it was really hard. It was really painful. And I, I think I did. I, I'm a very intense person. I did that because I wanted immediate results. And I remember I was like, okay, I'm going to do this for a month. And after a month, I wasn't healed. And I was like, okay, God, <laughs> like this didn't work. <laughs> okay. Thank because, you. Yeah, I, I would still think about that person. I would still look at their social media. I would still want them to reach out to me. I would still look at my phone and be like, did they text me? Um, and it wasn't until like six months after that, that I really healed. Wow. And it was, I promise you from one day to another, I just woke up and I was like, oh my gosh. And you know, you know how else I noticed that I was healed? Like I would go out and I feel like people were very like, people could tell, like I remember, like I'd go out and I don't know, people would approach me. Like I, <laughs> I remember one time I went to out, I went out to eat sushi with my friend and one of the guys that was like in the kitchen came out, asked me for my number. And that happened to me like so much right after my healing oh, wow. season like very <laughs> and because they say once you heal once you go out <laughs> you honestly you do you, you attract go I think when you good vibes a, yeah when you are in a good place people feel that people yeah, yeah, yeah. are drawn to that you're confident you uh, but yeah when i was in my healing journey i <laughs> I remember people looked at me and they're like, are you okay? Are Did you, you eat yet? In the shortest way possible, say it in Spanish. In the most simple way, your jornada de healing. I was very intentional with my jornada de healing, in which I really had to face everything. For eight months. Eight months I had to face what I felt. For a month, I was like, 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 I ningún chico que me invitara a salir, ningún amigo, incluso que yo no viera de esa manera, si me decía, oh, let's catch up, nada, 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 porque yo no quería hacer wow. nada que me distrayera de lo que tenía que sentir. También soy una persona bastante intensa, entonces yo lo que quería eran resultados inmediatos y no fue así, no fue así, o sea, después de un mes ya me sentía más cómoda con eso, con salir con amigas y todo, este, pero sí, me tomó, me tomó ocho meses de sanar y... De verdad que después de ocho meses, de un día para otro me desperté y como que ya me di cuenta que, que wow, estoy sanada. Estoy en un muy buen lugar. Mm. Eso toma demasiado fuerza de voluntad. That takes a lot of self-will. Okay, so for this person, say it's been that ass, say it's been five months. I mean, the fact that you're questioning it, could that mean that you're not over him? Probably. El hecho que esta persona se está haciendo esa pregunta puede ser de que aún no lo ha superado. I think something that I always kept in mind too is, am I in a position to date someone else? Like, am I in a healthy position to date someone else? Like, have I done, like, how do I say it? Like, where I'm at right now, would I hurt someone based off of what I feel for that other person? For instance, like, sometimes you haven't, unfollow that person on social media some people don't unfollow people i don't know for me i always try to think of like the respect that i have for the partner that i'm with um and that's that's an, that's a whole other that's a whole other social media <laughs> episode is um a whole am i like are you still in touch with that person there's just so many there's just so many factors but i always try to think about am i in a position in a good healthy position to be able to date someone else and not allow my the way that I feel or felt toward that person affect my current relationship that you're gonna or my current go dating into. situation. Yeah. yeah, I think it's also important to reflect and analyze if how you're moving is based on this person, like expecting him to see it, expect to him to respond expect for him to like every decision that you're making he's still in your in your mind yo siento que también tiene mucho que ver es la manera que tú te estás moviendo lo estás haciendo por esa persona y no necesariamente por ti lo estás haciendo para que él pueda ver sea lo que sea para que él pueda hacer a tanto o oh, yo voy a hacer eso yo voy a hacer lo otro pero pensando en esa persona yo siento que eso es uno uno grande creo que es el más grande Creo sí, que es como realmente, más. creo que es como realmente puedes saber si has superado a esa persona. Porque si, 
si, no, si ya la superaste, no pensaras en ellos. No, no pensaste en ellos. O sea, es that, eso es, ¿no? Oh, my gosh. My so, if you think that. about them, you're not completely over them? I think so. Like, people that I'm over, I don't think about them. Damn. So, I'm not over. <laughs> <laughs> Who you think about, Kim? Wow. Maybe. But I think I am. <laughs> <laughs> Does that sound convincing to you? I'm, you want to tell I'm yourself. 60, I'm 60%. You are trying to convince yourself. And I think that's also like the healing journey. I think sometimes you try to tell yourself. Yeah, yeah, like it's you take 10 steps forward. Mm. And then sometimes you feel like you take 20 steps back yeah. because you're like, oh, wait, I'm in a good place. Oh, and then all of a sudden you're like, they come into your mind. They, um, oh, <laughs> it's not. It's it's a process. It's a journey. So sometimes it is that it's like, but I think I am over them. It's like, no, <laughs> if you were over them, you would say I am over them and you would know. And sometimes people say that and they're not. But you always, you, you know, you, you deep, feel deep, it. deep, deep, deep down, you know, don't lie to yourself. I think that's the key. Don't lie to yourself. Don't play yourself. Don't play yourself. And just I think that remember, move with what you want not with what they're gonna see what they would want what they this thinking of what this them 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 este movernos como en lo que nosotros queremos no necesariamente en lo que ellos quieren o hacen no sé qué <laughs> yo siempre hay un meme que yo siempre voy a recordar por el resto de mi vida que decía si Jennifer Aniston superó a Brad Pitt que tú no superes a ese <laughs> oh beep <laughs> <laughs> y es como que wow es verdad. If Jennifer Aniston got over Brad Pitt, how can you not get over that? Beep. Fool. Fool. <laughs> no, I mean, it's true. No, I mean, that's, think, that's harsh. Like, no, it's hard. Of course, it's a meme. It's a joke. <laughs> it's a joke. Ya te puedes reír. Um, no, of course. It's, um, dating is hard. If you're still thinking. I think that's the bottom line. Are you still thinking about him constantly? If that's a yes... Are you still moving with that person in mind? Are you still... Yeah, I think that's that's what it is. Are you still stalking them? Are you still stalking media? them? Do you still want to see what they're doing, who they're with, if they're dating again? What they're liking, what, what they're, they're commenting they're liking, on? What they're... If you just answered yes, then maybe you're not completely over your No, ex. then you're not. No? It's not a maybe then you're not completely over your ex or the person you're dating. Don't be hard on yourself. Like, I, I don't want it to sound like it's something Get that over is him. easy. I don't mm. want it to sound like it's something that I personally didn't struggle with or yeah, haven't struggled yeah. with. I think it's something that we all go through. So don't be hard on yourself. And But really make sure you do put in that work mm. because if you don't put in that work, it's going to show up at some point in your life yeah. it's going to show up with the next person it's going to show up when you have kids it's going to show up like in the future the marriage do the work do the work i think that don't be hard on yourself and right now you're hearing this and you're like i'm not over him dude it's hard it, it's not easy again she went through eight months that's why she sounds so <laughs> she sounds so like uh direct but it's not easy it's definitely a process it's definitely a journey So, I mean, yeah, we just wanted to conversate about this. Someone asked this. I don't think there is a answer directly to know. This is just based off our experience. It's definitely a journey, and let's not be hard on ourselves, but, but let's not be hard on ourselves, but let's put in the work to be able to, if this, it's, if it's not with this person, heal and trust that someone better is in your life. Yes. We're all in this together, guys. Again, I mean, life is learning, growing, learning, growing together. Um, yeah. Uh, again, we invite you guys. If you haven't yet, we are available on all podcast platforms. So we invite you to subscribe. Available on YouTube under Tell Me Un Poquito Más and like this video. Este los invitamos si aún no lo han hecho que se suscriban a nuestras plataformas de los podcasts bajo Tell Me Un Poquito Más y en YouTube. No se les olvide darle like a este video, compartir este video y dejar su comentario, dejar su comentario, lo que sea, cualquier tema que quisieran, otro tema que quisieran, aún lo pueden dejar aquí. Y hasta la próxima. Bye.